The United States Census Bureau. The Census Bureau counts how many people there are and where they live. This demographic information helps the federal government allocate more than $675 billion annually in funding for infrastructure, programs, and services to communities nationwide. But in order to collect up-to-date demographics, the Census Bureau needs correct geographic data. The Census Bureau's geography programs draw information from a geographic database. This database contains addresses, streets, and boundaries for the entire nation. It's used to tie demographic data from censuses and surveys to towns, counties, school districts, states, and more. The Census Bureau uses geographic data to publish demographic data about communities, information to better inform decision makers. But how do boundaries, streets, and addresses determine how the Census Bureau counts people in your community? Demographic data is tied to households and tabulated within boundaries for the American Community Survey and other census data. Houses lying outside of a boundary which has not been updated, resulting in undercoverage, can affect the allocation of federal funding for tribal, state, and local governments, as well as school districts. From our geographic database, we annually create maps and digital files for verification and updating by tribal, state, and local governments. Next, governments update their roads and boundaries on the Census Bureau's maps or digital files. Then, local governments send their updated Census Bureau maps or digital files back to the Census Bureau. Geographers review the maps and digital files to make sure the boundary updates are complete and there's no missing information. Geographers update the Census Bureau's geographic database by integrating the data sent by local governments and then perform quality control checks. Geographers give the updated geography database to statisticians. Statisticians combine the updated geography data with household data from the 2020 census and other incoming surveys, removing all personally identifiable data. The Census Bureau can now report the number of veterans in your city, the number of school-aged children in your county, and more. 